so I'm looking forward to bringing the town together and bringing that creativity and the um, it does feel very important to to focus on some of the reuse some of the ingenuity that comes from that too and the creativity that is required of making things out of things that already exist so I'm looking forward to that okay. so you have like a, a calendar of these um, these shows these exhibitions sure, yeah. okay so we will open yeah, uh, it's probably on the web. Is, it, is the past calendar on the uh, Yeah, so River Culture, I'll give you my card. You can look at <coughs> Falls River Culture org, um, and that will give you an idea of um, all the amenities downtown, including um, upcoming shows and things, and by no means is that um, a complete record of everything going on. Um, but you'll, um, you can learn a little bit more about the community and arts in the community um, from the River Culture website. Mm -hmm. Does it list the past events? Is that um, if asking? you go back, if you scroll back in events, and I could send yeah. you the link directly if you would like. Okay. That's um, so and then we have one. also, there's okay. a, f I, I could put together a little package. There's a Vimeo mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's up online and you can kind of see how that fashion show worked out. Um, and um, we, it was over here at the Shea um, two, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but then, as Rachel said, that it was done, you know, the nine previous years at the laundromat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our time is passing over the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> so, I remember the first announcement. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem like it was <laughs> yeah, yeah. The concerts and restaurants and so on. So it's, it's kind of vibrant and um, it's, it's really it's pretty well located. Okay. Yeah, so, um, so something something might be possible. Yeah. Does it have its own political representation? Um, no, no, it it no, it it it, it does, but it's not. It's, you ask a very valid question. Um, Woodbrook is not it's not a separate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's simply part of part of Fort Yeah. 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 So. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah, that's that, that's about it. Um, Donna, you yeah, any, anything else? Um, Mark is, is asking. It's Mark, huh? Mike. 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 Mike yeah. He's so asking me about about um, some features of, of of Woodbrook. So I was just telling him how it's, if you evolved, yeah, there were a lot of mass camps and so on. Yeah, it's a very cultural uh, area. Lots of mass camps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many of these top fashion designers, they have their, their stores in Woodbrook. It's also an area that a lot of people hang out. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good hanging out area. We call it liming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Liming. Yeah. 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 Hanging out, we say lime. We give it the give it so it the explanation for that. <laughs> very curious expression. Lime. And, um, <laughs> It's also very, it's See, more as like a middle class, it's a middle, it's a middle class area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a middle class area. It's a pretty residential originally. Yes, yeah. yes, it was mainly residential, but it's now becoming much more commercial area. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 What are the next steps for this process of dialogue with the city officials? Uh, well, yes, I do have now. Yes, we consider not that many. Yes, exactly. So, um, so we, it's, the initiative is actually starting here. So um, a proposal document coming from the city authorities here. Um, and we, we will convey that via our Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And we will consider it. And, um, and we'll make our recommendations, of course, based on our knowledge of the town. And, and so thank God we are here. So the fact that we are here, we can, we can get first hand information on the town. Yeah, yeah. Which is good. What, what are some examples of the actual exchanges that, that when these twin arrangements are set up, um, uh, what comes out of that? Is it, is it a ceremonial status? Or? No, there's, there's, there's concrete um, it's, there's, there's, there's concrete action mainly in, uh, I was going to say functional areas, but this, these are functional areas as well. Uh, culture, there may be, let's say, okay, for instance, there may be a, a home for the, um, a home for boys or something. 
um, they may be they may be um, taken on a tour to to tennis falls and to and fashion because we can have fashion you know like fashion yes fashion exchange of journalists yeah come and work in Trinidad for you know yeah period and they they come here and you when you you come back you can write an article and then we send we send the journalists as well write an article and exposes uh, Turner's Falls. Okay. And I think one of the things that do is also like presentation of the keys to the city. Yes. That is one of the things. Things like that. Yeah, so there are ceremonial things, but um, there is concrete action, especially in the, let's say the softer areas, not always, you know, economic pressure. Be people to people. Yeah, yeah yes. exactly. Yes. I know that there was a lot of, um, you know, in the, Maybe in the 1980s, um, there was a big movement in the U.S. Uh, for, for kind of uh, sister cities or sister towns, yes, um, yes, different yes, places. Yes. And, you know, like the, the movements in Latin America, mm -hmm. in particular, you know, connections in this area yeah. you know, yeah. during that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's yes, <laughs> and uh, so we've done it. Um, we've done it quite a bit. So we 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 hope this this does happen. We hope um, <laughs> the proposal does get the, the right attention. We'll, we'll keep track of the story. We bought some um, tokens for your race. Yes. Yeah. I'll just get Richie's attention. Oh, you wanna? No, let him come. Yes. Okay. So, so Richie, sorry Richie, we're just going to do these little tokens. Little tokens, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, present, present. Okay, pop in here. Yeah, so Richie, we, we, we like to distribute um, these little tokens. Um, they, they need to be handled. Don't be Well, I don't know. If, if you're me, I, <laughs> one, one of those, half, half of those would mess me up for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to tell you that these are from Angostura. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You would have heard of Angostura and you would have heard of Angostura bitters. Yes. Oh, wow. Right, but this was made in Trinidad and Tobago yes. with a secret um, mm -hmm. ingredient. So yeah. mm -hmm. I believe this is Richie's own here. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, there you go. Thank oh, we you. Want yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. So we also want to present you with the So I think we have just enough of these. Do we have enough rum to get everybody drunk? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we start with Sin Sin Sin. Sin 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 this is some of the um, steel pan on the national instrument. It's the only acoustic um, instrument invented in the last 126 years. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Suzanne? Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, he smiled for you. Thanks. Special present for us. Is that a fact? What's the instrument called? Uh, this is uh, um, steel pan. Oh, for sure. Come on, please. The instrument is called a steel pan. Yeah. So, in, um, just, yes, just, 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 just before you, you make a presentation, so I'm, I'm emphasizing this because America <laughs> insists on calling our invention steel drum. Mm. It is not a steel drum. It started as a drum. The invention is the pan. What came out of the drum is the pan. So you may have heard the word steel drum. But the correct terminology is steel pan. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're sure. Did you have one? Yes. Yes. Thank you. No, we're not telling you. You're telling you all. You're just really intrigued by what's happening here. Yeah. You can tell it's passion. Here you go. I'll stay next to you. I have some, I have some, I actually have some native from um, Karen. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Somebody's getting David on. Yes, uh, Michael is getting David. Michael is getting David. Yeah, so. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Mike Jackson. <laughs> I mean, you're part of this as well. Yes, come yeah. on, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah. That's the way we do it. Yeah, he's going to be interested. That's the way time. we do it. So. Yeah. 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 So let's, let's look. Yeah, thanks. Sure. So let's, let's really yeah. discuss the journalistic exchange. Yeah. Even if the training you know, takes a while. That, that can happen too. Yeah. yeah. Tony. Yeah. I know you're training to the bone, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. How long are you out here? Oh, all that time. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. <laughs> okay, you go. <laughs> are you looking so uh, Look so familiar. Oh, maybe there are a lot of people that look like you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm a big family, so. Mike. Video. Oh. Video yeah. Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Video Mike. Yeah, so my the rum and this is symbol of all national instruments. So it's a little bro, so it's like Thank you so much. Yeah. Sure. Well, we keep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. let me so present sure. Ricky. 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 Yes. Thank yes. you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yes, I got a nice oh, oh. stand, stand right here. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me get my camera. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, run from the picture. Oh, we have to get everything. Okay. Get somebody take <laughs> now. Oh, you can take yeah, some of your Somebody. Take more than one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Look at me, Richard. <laughs> no grinning. <laughs> yes, grinning. He's the only one that got. You're the only one that got him to smile. You know that he never smiles. <laughs> Come on, don't try to hold it now. <laughs> there we go. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. And don't Thank you very Rachel. much, huh? Rachel. Oh, Richard! Oh, yes, yes. oh my goodness! Okay. What's wrong with yeah. me? You didn't call Richard. Oh, yes. Oh, I right. was also Richard. Oh, I was also Richard. We sent one for you. Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just sent one for you. Thank yeah. you very much. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much. with Coca Cola. Goes with Coca Cola, that's true. Yes. That's pretty good. Can we get a picture with you? Oh, we must. We must. I, I yes. Like a, uh, yes. I, I, I um, do that. And then we're going to do one with the whole group as well. I do not. My son always has to do it at weddings and right. stuff. Okay. I don't know. Yes. Do okay. Not only that, it's kind of terrible. No. Surf <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh, now, yeah, come on. That's yeah, okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. There you go. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, yeah. I can't. 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 Who made these? Who made these? Uh, John St. Paul, or Paul yeah. St. John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Paul St. John. Yeah, he's a Mi'kmaq and Mohawk. One thing I'm curious about, do you, have, do you have a suggested uh, new name for the place? Or uh, yeah. indigenous for this place? place? Yes. Oh, this oh. was called Peskamska before, it was, before okay. it was colonized. Uh, yeah. It means uh, Pes Pesky is twin to something, yeah. and Omsk is the word for rock when we combine yeah. the word for rock with something else, so it means twin rocks place. So yeah. right. well, twin. I don't know what is it, uh, your family yeah. or your ancestor's name. Oh, okay. Um, I'm Ganyan Keha, which is uh, Mohawk, 
and I'm Nipmuc, Nashoi Nipmuc. Nashoi live uh, like north central Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and he's Kanyankeha, uh, which is Mohawk, and he's Mahikanyak, which is Mohican. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, why well, yeah. I ask is because I wanted to see if I could have trace some folks from Trinidad to be able yeah. to find oh, yeah. what's oh, in the yeah. Caribbean. Yeah, oh, right. your family yeah. members, you know. Oh, oh mm -hmm. like Kasha, yeah, Kasha is her last name. Kasha. But at that time, um, oh, it's French. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It, my ancestors' name was Schwanganit. That was the English like last name they yeah. gave them, which would be in uh, Canada. They changed it to <coughs> uh -huh. and That's the mm -hmm. best they could do with Schwanganit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And um, but that's the name. Um, there are some people's names would change to Shawank um, mm -hmm. and things like that. There's some versions of that. Oh, right. um, but most of the people who they were they were just uh, I've seen some of the documents. They just give them a name. Just have like a yeah, so the name one is. name, mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. of 23, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. woman yeah. of, mm -hmm. the men, they ship mostly men. Yeah. Um, but there's just some research on that. And they're actually, people are doing genealogy, they're connecting back. Mm -hmm. um, people up here are trying to regather communities in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find our people or mm -hmm. gather. Mm -hmm. Like in Bermuda, a group of people made a connection with the Wapanag and they, um, they found some documents they were able to uh, locate their community amongst themselves in Bermuda and they made a connection to Wapanog out in the Cape and they're sort of restitching their history now together. It turns out a lot of Wapanog were shipped off to Bermuda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we have some records on this end to help, uh, mm -hmm. to help them on their end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. So oh, do we need to do another picture? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want, I, I uh, we need to change yeah, the lighting. Lighting? Okay. Is it okay for the, for the lighting? What? Maybe take it from there. I can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean for you? I, I can shoot wherever you want. Yeah, he can shoot wherever you want. It didn't really matter because most every, everything you're going to use it for is going to crop down to the people anyway. Yeah. But if you want yeah. something outside, when we go walking, I'll get some. No, we take you know, some outside, but we should get we should get some more in here before we. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. She looks like your aunt. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's my aunt. Oh my goodness. She's been in Boston. So this is great. Hello. Forever. Okay, so let's 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 do this before. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Come here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Uh, What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Huh? That's what I want to see. Big okay. smile. Okay. I like that smile. CG as well. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Hey, thanks for smiling. Thank you. Perfect. Um, that's why I use no, N O H H A M. I'm going to make you stay after, Richie, if you don't smile. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Good. Perfect. What that does is raise your cheekbones. I can't have it down here. You smile on your cheekbones, raised. Uh, okay. okay. You got to smile. Okay. So, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we will be here in September. Great. Oh, some kind of presence. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay so uh, I'm going to make it special. Yeah, yeah. I know it's not special. Yeah. 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 Is actually the ground that was built and owned by the native people. And so we are all standing, we are all, you know, I, I have this sense of gratitude every day I walk into this shop. And um, I literally spend a little time here meditating and saying thank you. And I say thank you for all of the people who were here before, from the Second Street Bakery <laughs> to Leah, to all of these people who made it possible and give life to this place for me to be here. But I also say a deeper thank you for the people who 
make it possible for all of us to be here, period. And I met these two wonderful gentlemen yesterday, and I wanted them to be here because they represent, they are Native Americans, and I'm not sure if I'm using the right terminology, but I wanted them to be here because I asked them to participate in Fashion Week, in Fashion Passion as well, as part of their opening ceremony, and um, to give us the blessing and to bring some of their culture into what we're doing. I mean, we know this as Trinidadians. We are the kind of people who does this. Wherever we go, we embrace everyone. And so my philosophy in fashion is to use fashion as a template to bring people together. It has to unify. Um, I think culture is, is a wonderful doorway that allows us to do that. And, 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 and in that spirit, I had that conversation with these gentlemen and they were immediately embraceable of the idea. So I want to, them to introduce themselves and speak to, some, speak to all of us about who they are and some of their culture. So you have the floor. Thank you. He speaks for both of us. <laughs> yeah. I think so. He's actually my elder. He's my husband. <laughs> my husband. And uh, we're, we're, we're relatives through uh, the Mohawk people, whose real name is uh, Ganyamkea, which is a little harder to say than Mohawk, but Ganyamkea is our name, um, which means people of the Flint. And uh, he's also Mohican. And this side of the river, um, the Pakantak and Nanatak, all these places are, are parts in, of the greater Mahikaya people who are the Mahican people. The name for the Hudson River. The Hudson River is Mahakanatuk, and their land stretches from the Hudson over to the Connecticut basically, without parsing things out too much. And then in Mukwur are on the east side going over towards uh, about as far as Worcester, a little beyond where we meet the Massachusetts people. Um, but we're all very close relatives. And we have this I'm very thankful that you come all this way. And I know how hard it is to get here from Manhattan and all that, because I used to commute quite a bit. And um, we have an early life in Manhattan, too. And uh, we really appreciate you coming this far to make this connection to honor us in this way. Um, it so happens that during the wars here of land acquisition, <clears throat> that many thousands of our relatives were taken as, it was a standard practice to take prisoners of war as slaves in New England. and. Uh, the majority of us actually went to Trinidad and Tobago, um, about three or four thousand, and uh, a, so a few thousand more were scattered amongst the Lesser Antilles, and uh, a small number ended up in Bermuda, where a native community with connections to here has uh, become aware of itself and uh, and has made some connections back to us. So. I thank you very much for coming all this way to here. Um, and uh, when you go back, please carry our prayers and our good thoughts back to everyone in Trinidad Tobago, where some of our lost relatives uh, still are. Um, and it uh, gives me a little bit of chills to think of that. But uh, I'm, we're very honored to be included. Um, and we're very honored uh, to be here at a time when people are coming back together. Um, together is our way. Um, people may know, going back to the old stories of Settlement Act, it was our way very commonly to take people in when they were of need. Yeah. Um, and that, mm. The pilgrims found that out. Um, and uh, so uh, it's part of the continuum of the ancient ways that I think everybody used to share. And I think we all still share in our hearts. And I'm, I'm very glad to be part of this unification both of us are. Um, I'm the medicine elder for the Native American Intertribal Council. Western Massachusetts, and he is formerly an elder on the council, and we're also part of the Bridge in the Sky Medicine Circle. So it's our, our work to bring about healing whatever ways we can, and cultural healing is very important to us. And um, I just think it's a, uh, a really uh, promising development in mind and culture that uh, so many people have come to the same, that we share the same thought, we have the same mind around this idea of uh, bringing ourselves together and perhaps uh, stitching over divisions and, uh, and, uh, and making a, a garment out of, of threads. And uh, I'm just very happy to be 
part of this, and we're very honored to see your faces here today. And, and thank you for the effort that it took you to come here. And uh, for everybody else for honoring us by letting us be in this space with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have two important persons who had left and oh, not sorry, back. So here. <laughs> can we see you one? So. So this is Diana, this is the president of the Franklin County Chamber of Commerce and nice Lisa Duval. Wonderful and to meet you. I would let both of them, I would, so Diana you want to go first and then Lisa can speak mm -hmm. after? To this. Um, well, I didn't, I'm not <laughs> sure what you uh, went over already necessarily, you were talking, do you want to, I, I, well the Chamber of Commerce, we, we, um, work to support businesses throughout Franklin County. That's 26 towns. Um, we also um, do some tourism work. So we like to support arts and culture, uh, outdoor recreation. We have a lot of great craft beverages in the area that we try to um, help promote and just do what we can to support the businesses and organizations in Franklin County. <laughs> Her Majesty. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Lisa. I'm also at the Chamber. Uh, I used to do a lot of cultural work here in Turner's Falls, um, and now I do sort of similar work for the county. Uh, and we do, I do a lot with the creative economy. Mm -hmm. So it's really great to see this mm -hmm. kind of work happening. Um, and we just want to be supportive and Thank you for coming and learn about your culture yes. and share our, our culture with you and just see what kind of like partnerships can create because that yeah. is always very exciting. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, we're here and we're learning about our history. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Things we didn't know. Yes, you know? things we didn't know. Oh, wow. I, I want to introduce a very important gentleman, this gentleman here. This is my buddy. <laughs> and. This, this gentleman is really important because when we started fashion in Trinidad, part of the reason we were successful were two. We were surrounded by a really incredible team of people. And my ex-wife was part of that team at the time. She was just an amazing mind. So that was one aspect. I had the, the, the gift of creativity and the vision but none of that could happen without people who can make that vision come to fruition. And I found this gentleman, he walked into the shop, my brother introduced him to me, and he came to the shop, and we were just starting, we were humbly just beginning. I thought, I, I, I'm not even sure if we had a machine or if we had, but we already had the studio, we were already successful in the graphic arts, and we were now incorporating fashion. This gentleman came and I put a, a lot of fabric in his hand and I showed him my design mm -hmm. and he looked at it and immediately he said, I can do this. He took it home and he brought it back and we have been together since then. Wow. We, that was the beginning of our journey. His name is Anthony Alfred and Tony, would you like to say a few words? And before, before, before he says a few words, the reason he's here this evening. So that was in Trinidad 30 years ago. And we starting, we decided we were going to launch Fab, start back our fashion business. And we had this bigger vision to, I didn't want to just do my line of clothing. Um, I wanted to bring the world of cultures together. So I reached out to people all over the world and asked them if they would like to be part of this because we wanted to bring an identity. We wanted people to recognize that there are many aspects of fashion that you don't connect with, but, but these people are people who work in their homes, in their houses, who take care of their families. There's this creative entrepreneurship that goes on every day in the world, in Africa, in the Caribbean, in Cuba, different regions of the world. But those are not the faces you see. Those are not the names that you see as brands. But these are the people who actually created. Mm -hmm. Something like 60 million people, mainly women, that actually contribute to everything. The great story about fashion is that it is so universal, it is absolutely amazing because every single person participates because everyone wears something that was made, regardless of your culture. Every, so, it, so it has this unifying ability. 
it is very proletariat, it is very functional, we must wear it. It's, it's a must. It's, it's, it's like eating, it's like drinking water, it's, it's a must. And I wanted to really unify that and let people understand that when you buy something and you pay a particular price for it, if it's cheap, that price is being subsidized. That's not a bad thing. It's not about guilting anyone. But just understand that that price is being subsidized. But there's another part of that story, that if you're really paying cheap for that, it's probably slave labor somewhere. And a great percentage of that 60 million people are actually being enslaved to produce that. So we went and we looked for people who were actually practitioners, proud practitioners of their work. And we brought it here with the idea of fair trade. And of course the word fair trade seems to represent coffee and, and rugs from South, Af from South America, different South Africa. But no, it represents everything that the artist does, everything. And so we wanted to give dignity to the artist, so we went and we brought those people together. In doing my collection, again, I wanted to find Tony. I sought out to find this gentleman because we had lost touch. And I put the word out and somehow I found him and I called him and I said, hey, we're setting up this thing again. I want you to be part of it. I know you're probably very wealthy now, have your own business there, <laughs> probably have a tribe of children somewhere. But I wanted to be part, and he came again and he said, Let's, let's start. Mm -hmm. And so we've set up our production here. Uh -huh. And Tony is representative of, of that nucleus that you need if you are building. Mm -hmm. And all of us have that in our lives. Mm -hmm. Tony represents that to us. Mm -hmm. So my friend, <laughs> say a few words, or scream, or shout, or laugh, <laughs> whatever you want. But sing. You have the floor. Yes. You yes. have the floor. Yes. Sing. Um, you have the floor. Speaking is not one of my forte. <laughs> I get very nervous when I am <laughs> speaking. And I'm singing, I can sing for it. <laughs> no problem, get up there and do my thing. But uh, I met Richie, oh my God, 34 years ago. And uh, through his brother, and his brother used to hang together. Mm -hmm. And he said he was he's looking for somebody, because you can't find somebody to give him the look that you wanted. Mm -hmm. His brother said, well, you know, there's a guy that we stay together that sold you. So I came down, he told me he wanted what he wanted. So I measured him up and I took it up and I brought it back the next day. He was like, wow, that was fast. Mm -hmm. And then he went to the back and tried it on and I hear him scream from the back. Oh my God, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the beginning of it, you know. Yeah. Did a lot of, a lot of sewing up. I mean, for the first show, I, did. I, I didn't sleep for three days. Wow. Just making clothes, <laughs> you know. And mm -hmm. The show was a really great success and yeah. launched, uh, it was jazz creation then, yeah. not fat, it was jazz creation. Uh -huh. and, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. After all these years he reached out to me and uh, got through, like uh, my sister was saying, well, you know, Richie's looking for Richie, who Richie talking about? So Richie, the guy he's so, oh! I went on Facebook and I found someone on Fabio and I mm -hmm. reached out and left my number and he called me and somebody got back there in touch with him. Mm -hmm. So, Thank you, my friend. Like you said, I was Thank doing you. my own business, but... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> meant to be. Um, he's also an integral part in other ways because his, in his other life when he came to the United States, he developed his own business. So his business is in construction, home repair, home remodeling. Home improvement. Home improvement. So Tony was the person who constructed the runway. Mm -hmm. oh. And it's in, it's in parts. Mm -hmm. um, so he, he is essential. He's also now not just our master tailor, but he's also part of our team in terms of the in the the the, asp, the what do you call that? The building. Oh yeah. Building. The building of the stage. He's now part of that essential component to to making it happen. Mm -hmm. um, I know we uh, we are gonna after this. I think Suzanne has some plans to give us a, a walking tour, so you can get a sense of um, and we'll, and take you to the venues that we're planning. But I I want to say to everyone because you guys were really patient, and oh my goodness, I I really really appreciate that because I knew they were on their way, but. 
things happen, it's, it's the road and things happen, but I really do thank you very much for coming and for coming back, Lisa. Yes. And please, I, I do appreciate that. And thank you, Mike, and, and Mike, oh my goodness, <laughs> and David, and Suzanne, <laughs> Walter, Rachel, Eileen and Jack. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know if you all have any other things you want to, any other conversation you want to have with the, or questions you may want to ask, but the floor is open now before we. Um, yeah, are, are there, are there any other exchanges that you're doing with other towns? Here? Um, not to my knowledge. Um, I'm, new, I'm I'm reasonably new. I'm about uh, I came in November last year, and um, we haven't. Um, no, this is this is the first one of, of uh, since since I've been here. Yeah. And um, I don't know of any such projects done in, in recent years. Okay. So um, so yeah. But probably there will be others. So we just we just got going here because we, we want to make sure we just give them a, a slight taste of what we can. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So Mike has a question. So they, they were just saying that they brought a little token of appreciation. Yes. From Trinidad and Tobago. So. Yes. Okay. So um. All right. So you, want, you, want to you need to call. You need to. Let me get it for you. Let me get it. Mike has a question for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, from the newspaper. Uh, what was the name of the? You said that there's a district or a neighborhood in yes. Port of Spain. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's called it's called Woodbrook. Woodbrook. Yeah. And it's um, Western Port of Spain. Yeah. It's in, it's in Port of Spain. That's the um, that's the capital. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Is it a, a district or a neighborhood? It's um, it's a, it's it's highly residential, but um, it has evolved over the years because um, there have been many art, many of the, the designers for some reason they've, they've lived in that area. And because of how the properties were, were, were structured, very often they could use their, their backyards as what we call a mass camp. Mass camp is a, let's say a carnival camp, a place where the costumes are designed and made for, um, for, this, for the, uh, the carnival bands. Yeah. 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 So, so staging rounds. Uh, exactly. Yeah, work, exactly. workshop space. Yes, and yes. And now there's, there's, a, there's a few clubs. Well, hello, I am Andre Laveau. I am Consul General for Trinidad and Tobago in New York. And I'm making my first ever visit to Turner's Falls. And the reason for my visit um, is actually because of an in initiative in, uh, originating here in Turner's Falls by one of the sons of our soil and his name is Richie Richardson and he is a noted fashion designer, businessman, creator and we had to listen to him when he came and he told us about uh, his project for September, his uh, fashion week or fashion passion I think, mm -hmm. fashion passion and um, we're, we're very excited about um, supporting him and using this opportunity of uh, you know so many people visiting Turner's Falls and so on to to expose Trinidad and Tobago a little bit to this part of the world. I'm accompanied today by my colleague and friend uh, Donna Cox. You'll hear from her in a while. She is the public affairs and culture person. And um, so we're here um, to, as a, as a precursor to our participation in Fashion Passion in September. Um, and we, we, but we're also here because um, there's an opportunity for bringing our, uh, bring, bring our people closer together. And that is through uh, a proposal for twinning, twinning Port of Spain with Turner's Falls. Um, and the motor behind this twinning would be uh, cultural, cultural, um, cultural activity 
and uh, creativity. And that's what we're looking at right now. And that's why we're here. We had a, a very good discussion with, um, with the city officials and the Chamber of, Com of, of Commerce, and um, including some native people. And that strikes at the heart of what, we, what, we, what we're doing. Um, it's about people. We are in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we are, in fact, one of the most diverse countries in the world. And uh, we have, we are, we're just extremely co cosmopolitan. All the major races uh, are in Trinidad and Tobago. And well, we, uh, we're impressed with what we saw today. We are impressed with with a, a little uh, tutorial on Turner's Falls history and excited about its future, about its, uh, about its, uh, its process of redefinition and hopefully our, our twinning activity or twinning um, uh, proposal which we, we're going to explore um, can leverage that, uh, that history as well as the aspirations of, of both our people. Um, to um, well, to uh, to be more creative, to be um, to to develop creative industries because creative industries are, are the best ways of expressing who you are as a people. Okay, so um, so the, the, those are some of some of the things that uh, that are on our hearts and our minds and that have brought us here to to Turner's Falls. So perhaps um, my colleague who is uh, Public Affairs and Culture, can tell you a little bit more about uh, some of what's on our minds. Yeah. Yes, I'm Donna Cox, I'm Consul, Public Affairs and Culture, Trinidad and Tobago Consulate, New York. Trinidad and Tobago Consulate, New York. Um, I'm excited, we are here to see Turner's Fall because it has been, it's the first time actually that we uh, came here and it's a lovely place so far. We are excited about the fashion extravaganza that is supposed to take place in September, led by Richie Richardson of Fab Fashion and we are looking forward to support as much as we can and to be a part of it. And also, I met uh, two indigenous persons here um, today, and we were really happy to hear that uh, some of their ancestors actually migrated to Trinidad and Tobago years ago. So this is, you know, a good fit for us. And as the Consul General mentioned, we are a very cosmopolitan nation, and therefore we embrace all. So I look forward to, you know, the twinning that we want to do. Actually, we want the twin Turner's Fall with uh, one of the counties in Port of Spain called Woodbrook because this is very similar. It's a uh, middle class um, area. It's also very culturally diverse. There are many fashion industries in um, Woodbrook area. Um, a lot of persons hang out in Woodbrook, what we call liming. And um, so we look forward to this twinning that should take place. And we are just, we are working on it right now. And uh, um, we are happy to be at Turner's Falls today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, my own parade. <laughs> A parade of one. Thank you for coming all the way up from the city. You're welcome. Do you live in Manhattan? I live in Long Island City. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. I, I know where it is. One summer. My brother's living here. My brother lives in Peace. Oh, right. Yes. 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 All right, so we probably just want to walk down Avenue A and go inside and shake the air. All right, so here we go. This week. Here we go. My picture. Yeah. I'll be doing, I'm trying to do a documentary on the Okay. Yeah, well, I got it. You never run in there, right? Obviously, the
Five walks. Oh. So we lost our last kill. Um, uh, 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 yeah. combination of grants from the town. We'll go right in here and hopefully my team will be able As the mills went out, so did businesses go out and the community really suffered. But the town of Montague bought this building back, I want to say, in the mid-80s because they knew that if it turned into anything else, besides a theater, that it was never going to be turned back into a community theater. Mm -hmm. And the town of Montague had that kind of foresight. Mm -hmm. They're like, we don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to put into the Shea now. Mm -hmm. We don't know anybody who will be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Or bring this back to kind of what you, you know, yeah. what you see here now. Yeah. But there'll be a time, you know, there'll be a time when that's true. And so that kind of happened about three or four years ago. We got a new group, um, we got a new board of people who took over um, the lease, so mm -hmm. the building is owned by the town of Montague. It's leased for about a dollar a year or something. Mm -hmm. And the people have, who are running it now and doing programming it have a 10 year lease. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones who have raised all this money. There have been some grant money from the state. And then the town has been doing air conditioning and things mm -hmm. like that okay. in the building. Okay. Wow. But um, recently, we'll take a little peek on the inside. You hold this open, maybe I can find yeah. so, so this is our theater. It's small but mighty, we call it. So you said and that the town it, it, it is the major The town sustain. owns it. The town oh, they owns own. it. They own oh, the building, yeah. and they made sure that they bought the building in the 80s, because if this were turned into, I mean, if all this were taken out and turned into anything else, there would be no way to turn it back into a theater. So the town said that, we can't do it now, but we're going to make sure that it's protected. Um, so these chairs can be taken out, and sometimes there's bands where people want to dance, and then other times mm -hmm. you just you yeah. take these chairs, we put them in the yeah. side, and then that's for more of a dancing thing, and then sometimes the whole thing is seated. So, so that's on when I send you the link to the, the website, you can go to the shape and you can see all the work. I think other towns should study. of a project that Frank did, you know, our former town administrator. Um, I think they were done sometime, maybe almost 20 years ago, but again, they, you know, tearing them down would have been easier, but he knew that that's the term of the And, 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 and so say so done as you can see that. We're gonna jaywalk. So what part of the uh do that in here? Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ye
there's like a generation who yes, didn't do it, and now yeah. young people are yeah. doing yeah. it again. Yeah. 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 So. That is one of the attributes that I talked about that reminds me so much of our people, because we are that easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our people, we are, it, it, you don't have to make appointment to talk to us, you just come right. and talk to yeah. us. And, yes. so, yeah, let's make it happen. Yes. And you find that here. Mm -hmm. It is such, it is part of the fabric, I think, of Tuna. Yeah. It is really it is. part of the fabric of Tuna. But, you know, she understands herself. I, I really think that, <laughs> no, no, honestly, I really think I that I... it's easy to talk about all of these things happening, but it, it has to have a certain kind of investment of, of, of person mm -hmm. to be willing to do that. Yeah. And it must be the right person with the charisma, the charm, you know, all of yes, these qualities. Yes, that, yes, so yes. apart from the fact that she's super qualified, yes. that's one aspect. But super qualification doesn't make you a people connector. Mm -hmm. And I think Suzanne has those other attributes, att attributes that makes it easy for her to work, bring it all together. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, so this is Avenue A. Um, our avenues in Turner's Falls go A through it goes to Y. I know it goes to Y, but I have never found Y Street. I know it's called Y. And then it has numbers. And that's because it was a planned industrial community. And when we go and you see the canal, you'll see what people really wanted to do here. You know, they really thought that this was going to be as big as Boston Street. Yeah. This canal that they were digging. And so they planned it like a city. So it does have this grid yes. system. When you look at it yeah. on the map, it's a little teeny, a little teeny city, <laughs> little teeny city inside of the woods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. In the woods, there's a little city. And so it has this kind of um, way that it's all laid out with these wide streets. We recent redone, yeah, we've recently yeah, redid small the small lights. Small. Um, all of this is by um, volunteer. All of these plants that come in, the vast majority. I mean, we have a committee that does it and we organize things. Mm -hmm. But all of this is time that people invest in their own So, you know, Richie, I think we should go past Loot, and then we can see the canals from the back of the Discovery Center. Generate electricity. And that's going to be actually So we've gone solar. So this is so this is our canal. If you look, so there's a bike path, and we're going to get on it in a minute. But the bike path runs about a four, two and a half mile stretch all the way from here. Park, which is our prize park, all the way down into the community of Deerfield, and all of this was milled, and some of it is still here. Um, if you look through the trees, you can see, you can actually even see a little walking bridge where people who are on this side of the canal would walk from the apartments that I told you, um, yeah. the color buildings, they'd walk down oh, Avenue Way yes, and walk yes. straight in, mm -hmm. and they worked on three shifts all around the clock for yeah. 50 or 60 years, mm -hmm. but that economy is... Um, Obviously, just like everybody else in New England, it's not an economy that was sustainable. All of those jobs have moved on. First they moved to the American South, and then they moved to other countries. Yeah. So we have this collection of buildings um, that isn't without problems. You know, you could never really park over there, and access is kind of strange. But there are plans to take down the buildings that cannot be saved mm -hmm. and turn this into a beautiful um, park that would allow people to go into the water, to put boats into the water, that would be able to enjoy the river, um, would be able to fish, and and so, and also we would have culture out there as well, so perhaps. Fish. Not in the canal, but on the other side is the Connecticut River. Yeah. You'll see it more clearly. So yeah, it splits up there. So we can only see no, the opening on the other side. So the yeah. river's on that side, and then this side is the canal, and here's the bike oh, yeah. path. Oh, so yeah. this is what gener yeah, this is where the energy run. came from yeah. to run. Yeah. So the bike path is in use right now. Yep. Yep. You can get right on, and we're going to take that bike path all the way over to all to the park area. Um, the Discovery Center, the great partners, the people who work here. For example, Janelle, who's off today, also who masters in poetry. Mm -hmm. So everybody in Turner's Falls generally has more than one hat. They have their job that they do, but then. Um, so whenever there's a cultural event that in any way kind of overlaps with any natural nature component, mm -hmm. whether it's birds or butterflies or a time of year or apples or whatever it is, I quick run over here and I said, you guys want to tag along? Do you want to put some programming with this particular event that's happening? And they always say yes, because I told you, everybody always says yes. And so, and so, and so, and so things tend to grow. Like one idea will happen at one particular business or with a producer of um, the theater, and then suddenly the whole town has picked up the theme, mm -hmm. and that's what we're, we're all yeah. doing for that's two nice. days. That's nice. Yeah, 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 it's fun.
it's fun. It's a great place to, um, it's a great place to do things because mm -hmm. people want to do things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And that's unusual. It's unusual for people yeah. to yeah. take that's, extra that's time. This is the whole take extra ship, time so this is out of what they're part. already doing um, yeah. to kind of either help you with uh, something that you're yeah. doing yeah. or to make what you're doing yeah. better. Yeah. We're yeah. all trying to and amplify each other. Yeah. Didn't you say, Richie? Watershed. It's like we're all trying to amplify each other. We're trying to amplify each other. That's the right word. And down. But I wanted to take her around and throw them out. Richie and I have a close friend. Her name is Adit. She's of Portuguese descent. And she has a photography exhibition over there in that building um, called Bright Up My Out. And so that's photographs of just this area that you can dark kind of a recess color. So we'll just take a walk around. Yeah. And it, it actually forms the boundary between Hampshire and Hampshire. These are boundaries. This is the south end. This is Yeah. 